Hello, my name is Hunter. I'm the program manager here at Quick Learning School Concord, and I just wanted to make a quick instructional video on how to register for your California insurance license exam. First thing you want to do is go to PSI exams homepage. The website is www.home.psiexams.com forward slash pound sign forward slash scheduling forward slash search hyphen test. It's going to bring you to the home page here where it's asking you to search for your exam. We're going to go directly to select an organization and we're going to select California Department of Insurance. Once you've selected that, it's going to ask you to select a test. If you've done the Life Accidents and Health pre-licensing program, that's the 52 hours of pre-licensing, you're going to want to select the California PSI site Life Accident and Health Agent Examination. And if you're interested in taking that test in Spanish, the option is right below that. If you are interested in taking the life only exam, you'll see that those options are directly below the life accident and health. And if you're interested in taking the accident and health exam, those two options are at the very top. If you have taken the 52 hours of pre-licensing for property and casualty, if you scroll down a little bit here, you will see the California pre-licensing -pre PSI site property broker agent casualty broker agent examination you would select that option. So for this example, let's go ahead and select that. Then it's gonna bring up the total for the exam and the length of the exam. So we can see that the exam is 195 minutes long and that the total for the exam is $88. Below that, you'll see the exam instructions. I would highly recommend downloading the candidate information bulletin. It has all the information that you need to know in regards to uh, taking the exam at the exam site as well as taking the exam by remote testing. So remote testing allows you to take the state exam from the comfort of your own home. However, please keep in mind that you do need a webcam on your computer because it is a proctored exam. So there's going to be a proctor both watching you and recording you while you take the exam. So then we're going to scroll down and it's going to say login to continue. If you don't have a login and you've never registered with PSI exams before, you're going to want to select the new member sign up. Uh, it's going to ask you for some confidential information here, uh, legal first and last name, uh, things of that nature. You want to make sure that all that information is correct because that's the information that's used and reported to the state once you pass your exam. Uh, so if you have that login already, you're just going to click the continue button here and log in. Uh, and then it will uh, populate all your information already. So if we go up to the top here, uh, that's going to bring up your eligibility record you should automatically be marked as el eligible for the exam. If not, and all the information is correct, it most likely means that you've already taken the exam recently and passed it. Uh, so it's showing that you're not eligible to take it. That might be because you were already licensed with uh, the license that you're uh, seeking to take an exam for, but that license lapsed and you need to retake that exam. Uh, if that's the case, you'll have to contact PSI exams and let them know that you need to retake that exam and you also need to contact the Department of Insurance. Once your eligibility record is confirmed, it's going to ask for your payment information, and then you're el eligible to schedule that exam either through remote testing. So once again, remote testing is uh, where you can test from the comfort of your own home, or you can schedule your exam at one of many of the PSI exam uh, locations. Uh, so that's just the quick synopsis of how to register for that state exam. Uh, you'll be receiving all this information uh, via PDF in your confirmation email as well. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 925-676-1526. Once again, that phone number is 925-676-1526. Or you can reach us at our email, which is registration at quick-learn. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.